Welcome to the second introductory video of Calibri's Entrepreneurship and Corporate Entrepreneurship module. Here we will be discussing what entrepreneurship is. If you look for a definition of entrepreneurship, you will find many. But since Calibri is a European funded project, we can look to their working definition for insights. They describe entrepreneurship as an individual's ability to turn ideas into action, to be innovative, take the initiative, take risks, plan and manage projects with a view to achieving objectives. We can illustrate the essence of entrepreneurship in three simple steps, namely the problem, the solution and the company. The first step is to identify a problem that needs a solution. This can be a problem found in society or a problem with an existing technology. It could be a problem that users have encountered and commented on, i.e. a problem that reflects a real need of the community. This problem can then be solved in a variety of ways. The specific solution that you might propose will depend on the specific opportunity that you want to exploit. That is, the opportunity to create a company, a company that will serve as the vehicle that delivers your specific solutions to the users. Vinod Kozla is an established entrepreneur, and I leave it to your curi curiosity to find out who he is. He stated, that any big problem is a big opportunity. If there is no problem, there is no solution and no reason for a company to exist. No one will pay you to solve a problem that doesn't exist. This can be interpreted slightly differently. The bigger the problem, the more welcome the solution will be and so the better the opportunity will be to start a company with prospects for success. And so, the most critical step an entrepreneur makes is in identifying the problem that they want to solve. So let, let us now look at some of the characteristics that entrepreneurs have in common. Research shows that entrepreneurs tend to display a number of characteristics, some of which are not so obvious. They tend to have issues with authority and display a bit of a rebellious attitude. They desire to make an impact and not just blend in with the masses. They can have the ability to think big and come up with ideas that can change some aspect of our daily lives. They often have an, inter an eternal optimism and are not easily deterred by potential obstacles. They seem to be able to visualize problems and potential solutions with laser sharp focus and clarity. They often have an underlying curiosity in the world around them. They can be perceived as a bit or even quite crazy. And they possess or may possess ADHD or the Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. It's particularly common among entrepreneurs and it has been identified in as much as 90% of successful entrepreneurs sampled. So, as you can see, if such characters were considered purely from a medical perspective, they would probably be diagnosed hard drugs. Entrepreneurs, however, are able to harness these characteristics in a positive, creative way. Of course, that does not mean to say that if you're not attention deficient, that you cannot be a successful entrepreneur. It is simply worth reflecting on this list of characteristics so that you can learn from it. I now invite you to check your understanding of entrepreneurship by taking quiz two.